Right, welcome back. Beautiful day, look at that. Not bad for winter. I've got to do some work in here today. Nothing too crazy, but what we want to do is, I probably might use this box down here. We've got this one free as well. well actually, I haven't got back in here. I've got to take out all these um, and definitely want to clean this one out. Most likely we'll put a pair in here and that pair is probably going to be Black Titan because I do really want to pair Black Titan up. Um, little pairing I've done there uh, this afternoon, uh, actually yes afternoon, we might have a look at, but I think this will be a good box for Black Titan, it's already got the front on it, uh, we'll try and pair him up with um, a hen in there, and we'll try and get some more reeds and stuff in here as well, because they um, definitely, definitely like that, hey, so my, uh, the little dark checkers that I've got, the real dark, dirty, sooty things, um, part of the dirty project comes out of this cockburn, and um, oh, they're on one egg, there's only one egg in there. But he's pretty aggressive. He's a beautiful pigeon though. It's actually really nice. Looks pretty good in this light. Hey. But you can see he's kind of got that real dark speckles and that near the back there. But these babies seem to have that speckles all over their body, so I'm hoping they do keep that. It's a pretty cool colour. I like my colours, always have, so we're definitely going to start breeding some more. Not so much on this one, that's just part of the dirty project. Um, I did put Storm up in here, making a bit of a mess. I, she doesn't really lay that much, she's getting pretty old now. She is 2018, so um, I might see if we can get a baby or two out of her. Like I said, there's no real rush, we'll just try and get some at least one. If we can get one to replace her, that would be fantastic. Um, but we'll see. I haven't done that super great with a lot of her babies lately. Well, she hasn't really been breeding any. No eggs in there yet. But I do really like all this, the reedy, twiggy stuff that are starting to nest in there. Look how they've bent that. It's like perfect in around there. It's good for them. So definitely going to be doing more of that and not buying so many of the nest liners because um, I've got acres and acres of this type of stuff for free. So um, we've got Checkmate in here on his two eggs. Going to be very interesting to see if we do get a Mealy or a Red Checker out of there. That would be really cool if we do. Definitely would like to see that. And got Big Apache just down the bottom here. There should be two eggs in there too. Yep. Um, he's a beautiful pigeon as well. So what I'll do is I'll just give this little section here a quick, quick whip around. Um, and we'll try and bring Black Titan in here and just see how he goes. Alright, let's get one of these nest bowls in here for him. Over there. And also got him some water. Actually, what I might do is put that over in the corner just because when it's at the front, I find they knock it over a bit because they're trying to get out. Not all the time, but some, some pairs just don't want to be in these cages in the beginning until they pair up. Um, but I'll put him in here first, and we'll just see how he goes. He might, I can't remember if I've bred off him actually, so we'll see. He should be fine. I'm pretty sure he'll know what to do when he sees that nest box. The hen is a little bit younger. This will be her first time breeding, so we'll see. She's definitely keen, um, but it might take her a little while to figure out what's going on. Okay. It's a nice looking pigeon, this one. Oh, you want to go in there? Do you know what to do? Hmm, he says. Oh yeah, he knows what's happening. This is what I like to see. I generally like to get the cockbirds in first so they can, um, bit of a look around the box and then as soon as the hen comes in, they're straight into it. I'm hoping he's going to be gentle. He is a beautiful pigeon. And the only black that I've had that's done well, so the mother of this one was the Thai Grizzle Hen that I've got. Um, and paired it into some Van Al stuff, I think, from memory, which was Titan. That's why this guy's name is Black Titan. Um, and out of those two lines, this is pretty much the only one that I've had some success with. He's just, well, he's in that bowl though, he knows what to do. But yeah, just one of those pigeons that for some reason or other, he just handles living here and racing to here because he's done two seasons here, which is good. So he's still alive. 
and he hasn't been touched by falcons. He's never come back injured or anything, so uh, it's got to be something in that. So we'll just pair him up and see what happens. Um, the hen will be the same way too. She's um, she uh, is a young hen, so um, she's done pretty well. We got I have to double check. I don't know if it was thirteenth fed and seventeenth fed with her, maybe two weeks in a row. Um, I think she might have got first and second club, so it'd be interesting. That's what we need to do. Just put together these birds that can um, handle being out in this terrible position and all the rubbish we have to put up with. It's a beautiful spot though, can't complain. I love living out here. I don't have any neighbors. I uh, just got to put up with a few falcons. But anyway, we're just going back to enjoy and I'm going to start breeding a few more colors. But funny enough, all our colors um, that we're here in here at the moment have been out some of our best race birds. So um, can't complain, but they're not light colors. They're all kind of dark or brown. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll breed some race birds together and see what we can get out of it. All right, see, so I've got the hen in my hand. I'm hoping this goes down well. Hopefully he's nice to her. She's not super keen. It might take a few days for this. Oh, come on, buddy, be nice. This will be a good pairing if we can get it working. She's got the speed. She's a speed into headwind because her two races that she done well in were the sprint races but headwind sprint races so i like that that's a very good thing to see definitely handles a little bit of toughness and the old black titan over the back there is um he turns up when he wants to but he does turn up so that's um hopefully we can put a bit of speed into him but she is a beautiful little hen Been a bit too pushy, I think. We might have to pull her in out over a couple of days, maybe, until they sort of get along. But I might leave him in here for an hour or two together and just see. I think that generally sometimes, because this, I think he's been in here before, but she definitely hasn't. So this is kind of like a new loft for her. So she's a little bit funny. Um, I will come in this evening and feed them all put the little tray in here so um, hopefully that will sort of settle them down and when I come in we might see a bit of, bit of action maybe hopefully they've paired up and starting to look at building a nest and cooing and carrying on so um, we'll definitely see it's one of those things he might settle down a bit anyway maybe he's just a little bit excited because he hasn't really had the opportunity of a box and a nest bowl for a while so um, and I might even put some twigs in there too I don't know if I've got any, I might have to go for a walk and get some, but there's a couple down here. I don't think they're really at that point yet, but we can put a little bit in there and just see. If that starts making it into the nest, well, we'll get some more of that as well, but it's all good. I'm interested. Put some comments down below. What kind of colors do you reckon we'll get out of this? Um, Titan's father was a blue bar. His mother was a tiger grizzle. And her mother and father are just checks. So we'll probably get checks and blacks, which is not, not too bad. I definitely want some blacks. We'll breed some more blacks like him, I'll be pretty happy. There's a little bit more speed. But I'd say that's it for today because I need to give you guys some privacy and hopefully you just can um, pair up pretty easily. No rush. You know, she's a young hen. We, she was bred late, uh, early last year. So um, probably a year, year and a half-ish maybe from memory. So she should be fine. I think I might have another hen option anyway if we get too, if it gets a little bit too hard to try and pair him up. 